Much has been said about Adam and Eve and their three sons, Cain, Abel, and Seth, but to populate the world, female power is needed, and here the daughters of Adam and Eve appear in the story. Although they are not mentioned in the Bible, there must be a reason for how the world multiplied. The Book of Jubilees is the only one who wrote their name and the complete dynasty, fascinatingly, and thus completed what does not appear in the Bible, filling the gap and explaining who they are and how the world multiplied. This video explores the overlooked daughters of Adam and Eve, shedding light on their names, roles, and contributions to the rich tapestry of human history. Let's begin. As we know, nowhere in the Bible is not written that God created other peoples besides Adam and Eve. This means that all the people who have ever lived on earth are descendants of Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve bore Cain and Abel as their first children. Adam made love to his wife Eve, and she became pregnant and gave birth to Cain. She said, With the help of the Lord I have brought forth a man. Later she gave birth to his brother Abel. Now Abel kept flocks, and Cain worked the soil. Genesis 4 verses 1 to 2 Cain from the word I bought, I bought means I did, but in the language of the Bible Eve said when she gave birth to Cain, with the help of the Lord I have brought forth a man. And it means I made a man with God's help, which is why he is called that. Abel's name is not explained, because the meaning of the name is a clear transient, insignificant thing, or because the boy simply does not receive attention. Then after Cain's murder of Abel, another boy appears and his name is Seth. Adam made love to his wife again, and she gave birth to a son and named him Seth, saying, God has granted me another child in place of Abel, since Cain killed him. Genesis 4 verse 25 Along with Seth, they were part of the first generation of humans. The name Seth implies compensation, as it is used to replace Abel. Seth's genealogy is crucial, leading to Noah and playing an important role in the story of the Flood. Even though the names of only three sons are mentioned in the Bible, Adam and Eve had other children. The text mentions that after Seth was born, Adam was 800 years old, during which time he gave birth to sons and daughters, and lived for 930 years, according to Genesis 5. After Seth was born, Adam lived 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Genesis 5 verse 4 Adam and Eve were commanded by God to multiply throughout their lives. Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Genesis 1 verse 28 The Bible does not give the exact number of children of Adam and Eve, but it says that Adam and Eve had many sons and daughters. If there were no other people besides Adam and Eve, then it turns out that the first men had to marry their sisters, because there were simply no other women. We do not know when Cain married, no details of other marriages or children are given, but it can be assumed that Cain's wife was his sister, niece, or other relative. To complete the puzzle and understand who the daughters of Adam and Eve are, we need the help of the Book of Jubilees. The Book of Jubilees, which belongs to the Jewish Library, is an ancient book corresponding to the five chapters of the book of Genesis and the first twenty chapters of the book of Exodus, which was written in the priestly circles of the house of Zadok. The keepers of the ancient genealogical dynasties from creation onwards. The second century BC opens our eyes to interesting and unexpected angles regarding the historical truth from the priestly point of view, about the evolution of the first human family, and adds to the vigorous brevity in chapter 5 of the book of Genesis, very interesting details. Beginning with Seth, son of Adam and Eve, 
the women and mothers of the first nine generations are fascinating. The book of Genesis states that Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel, but according to the book of Jubilees, chapter 4, they had two sons, Cain and Abel, followed by a daughter, Awan. And in the third week in the second jubilee she gave birth to Cain, and in the fourth she gave birth to Abel, and in the fifth she gave birth to her daughter. Jubilees 4 verse 1 In Genesis, we see that Cain married only one wife, suggesting that there was only one sister. In his role as the firstborn, Cain took all the fields for himself, as a man of the land. This left Abel to look after the animal, and so he became a shepherd. It is understandable that there was only one woman to be Cain's or Abel's wife. And then it was said, And Cain took one his sister to be his wife, and she bare him Enoch at the close of the fourth Jubilee. Jubilees 4 verse 9 It can be the reason for killing Abel. As a result of God choosing Abel's offering, tensions between the brothers increased over who would take their sister, Awan. It seems that Cain thought to eliminate his brother from the competition to carry on, so God emphasizes, as an allusion to sexual desire. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Genesis 4 verse 7 Cain murdered Abel, and was free to marry Awan. Cain was informed by God that he would not enjoy the field work and would be moved. Cain accepted his fate and avoided the field work. As a result, it is likely that Cain took Abel's flock and set up a tent for himself on Nod's land. He murdered his brother Abel, and took his sister Awan as his wife, having a son with her, Enoch. Cain is also the father of urban settlement and material and tangible culture. As the years passed, Adam and Eve had their third son, Seth, the second generation of humans, from whom begins the human story that leads us from Adam to Abraham through twenty-one generations. According to the Book of Jubilees, Adam and Eve had nine more sons. As for Seth's wife, the Book of Jubilees provides a surprising answer, his wife is his sister, Azra. And in the fifth week of the fifth Jubilee Seth took Azra his sister to be his wife. Jubilees 4 verse 11 It means that the first generation of Adam and Eve was, Cain, Abel, Awan, Seth, and Azora. Seth, as mentioned, married his sister Azra and gave birth to Anash and Noam. Every man in the first ten generations of sons of Seth had only one wife according to the monogamous priestly legality. Meanwhile, Lamech, son of Methuselah of the Cain dynasty, had two wives, Ada and Zillah. Only the first three generations of the sons of the Seth dynasty, a brother married his sister. According to the Book of Jubilees and according to the commentary there were marriages between the sons and daughters of Adam and Eve are allowed. Later generations were forbidden from doing so by God. Some of us, when we hear that the first generations of people married their sisters, are surprised and say that it is impossible. Others, however, argue that Adam and Eve's children could not marry each other because there were laws against marriage between relatives. The law forbidding relatives from marrying appeared during Moses' time when God gave the Israelites the Torah. Do not have sexual relations with your neighbor's wife and defile yourself with her. Leviticus 18 verse 20 it happened about 2,500 years after Adam and Eve were created. But before that time, people married their relatives in the family. Even Abraham, who lived over 400 years before Moses, also married his father's sister. Abraham replied, I said to myself, 
There is surely no fear of God in this place, and they will kill me because of my wife. Besides, she really is my sister, the daughter of my father though not of my mother, and she became my wife. Genesis 20 verses 11 to 12 When Isaac, son of Abraham, was born, he sent his servant Eliezer to the house of his motherland to take a wife for his son from among his relatives. I want you to swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not get a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I am living, but will go to my country and my own relatives and get a wife for my son Isaac. Genesis 24 verses 3 to 4. Later we understand that Rebekah, Isaac's wife, was the granddaughter of Milcah and Nahor, the brother of Abraham. And also Jacob son of Isaac married Leah and Rachel, who were his cousins, the daughters of Laban, a brother of Rebekah, Jacob's mother. We hope you learned something new today. If you did, give this video a like and share it with your friends. You can share with us what you know by leaving a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative and entertaining content. Thank you so much and see you next time.